Guys, you see that funny looking dude in the thumbnail, right? Right? You see that dude with the finger jammed all the way up in his nostrils? You know, that motherfucker right there? You see him? Yes, you know who it is. It's our good friend, Kevin Smith. All right, and Kevin Smith, that guy, the one who's there with the hat on backwards, who's something like half a century old, that dude right there is telling everybody else they should grow the fuck up because we dared to criticize his bullshit Masters in the Universe Revelation series on Netflix. Okay, I want to start off by saying I know plenty of people who love it, and it's good to love it. It's, it's good to love it. It's good to love yourself, touch you all over the place. You can touch yourself and scream out while you're watching it in ecstasy. I do not care. All right, I'm talking about my opinion right here, okay? So all of the uh, unwarranted attention in the comment section of people who are coming at me personally, you can kiss all of my ass, okay? So anyway, getting on with this. Guys, you might have noticed that um, ever since we've been pushing back on these people who are destroying our properties, I'm talking about Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, uh, now He-Man, Lord of the Rings, just about anything you can name. All of these things that they're getting into, right? There's always been one common refrain when they want to push back on us. They want to say, oh, it's for kids. It's for kids. So you guys shouldn't have an opinion on it at all. You need to grow the fuck up. That's what this guy is saying, right? But I'm going to talk about this, guys, because I got the perfect answer for that. And I'm going to share it with you guys. This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. And guys, I'm talking a little bit quieter because my son is in the living room with his friends and I got to keep my eye and my ear on those little hellions out there, right? So I'm kind of multitasking, but since I'm back here, I might as well make it productive. Okay, so yes, like I said, we get this pushback all the time, all right, that it's for kids. And in this case, you know, I've had plenty of people come to me in the comment section talking about, it's a cartoon, it's a cartoon, for God's sake, it's a cartoon, grow the fuck up, okay. All right, that's what your leader tells you to say. Now, he might've told you to say that, but I'm gonna put my size 14 all up in your ass, okay? So here we go. All right, let me just explain something to you guys. Do you see me? All right, and I'm going to give, listen, I will give a crisp $100 bill to anyone who can go through my backlog and find me doing a review on Paw Patrol or Peppa Pig or The Loud House or some of this other crap that, you know, today's kids watch, you know, kids programming, cartoons, you know, today's stuff, right? Go ahead, go, go, I'll wait. You know, come on back and let me know, okay? All right. Here's what you knuckleheads, you numbskulls, you nitwits don't seem to understand. These people have made it a point to go back to the things that we love, okay, in a certain generation, all right? A lot of this stuff is coming out of the 80s and the 90s, okay? So they specifically go back there. They pick up the stuff that we used to watch. They market it as if they're... Um, uh, rebooting it, you know, they're continuing the story, like they know that there's an existing audience, that's the reason why they go back to get it in the first place, because they know that the audience exists, and they're hoping that that old ass audience now is going to come back because they're selling the nostalgia, okay, that's what they did with Star Wars, That was that's what they've done with Star Trek, it's all about the nostalgia, that's why they're doing it, okay, so of course we're going to be interested. You know, so why would you blame people for being critical about the things that we have grown up with, you know, that we don't like any, you know, we don't like it, what you've done with it. We're going to be critical about that. Is that so hard to understand? I, I don't get that. You know, I kind of liken it to, let's say the Beatles, right? Like the greatest band of all time, depending on who you ask. Right. But they're definitely history makers. Okay. So you got the Beatles and, um, Let's say that, you know, it's come out that they're going to be doing like a documentary or a dramatization about the Beatles, the Beatles. OK, so they're going to release it. You know, they they give you the trailer. You know, they're showing you, you know, the clips of John Paul Ringo and um, John Paul Ringo and um, George. Right. So everyone's getting all hyped up, you know, all of these old fans of the Beatles. Now, when the actual show comes out, you find out that. The Beatles have been reimagined as women, okay? Let's say it's uh, Joni, Paula, Georgia, and uh, Rashida or something like that, right? And everyone's like, what? What's this, you know? So they start playing the music, you know, they come out on stage, ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles, you know, and they come out and they're on some, uh, you can buy my ass, ass, you can buy my ass. You can buy my implants, friend, and I'll make you feel all right. 
fake boobs and my booty too and a face that's so so tight i don't care uh, about your honey but your money can buy my ass wow <laughs> i would love to scream that but um you know like i said stuff is going on so anyway do you think maybe a bunch of boomers you know 80 70 maybe even 60 year olds you know who were there when it happened you think they might have something to say about that you think they might object to this new beatles i think they would and i think it would be perfectly understandable why they would you know what i'm saying but um we act today like the stuff that you purposely went back to get for nostalgia purposes we're not dead you know we're still here and you act like it's just crazy that we would have something to say about that you know when you go on and you subvert expectations and you kill these people and you do all types of you take all types of liberties and stuff like that like i said go on do your creative writing all you want but we're not stupid and we see the level of uh resentment that runs under a lot of what you're doing here you know it's a cash grab and um, for you to sit there and say, oh, it's just a cartoon. You need to grow the fuck up. Well, you what you need to do is make your own fucking property. That's what you need to do. You need to be creative, you know, and that's the problem. These people are not creative. They can't come up with their own thing. They can't build their own audience. So what do we do from here? You know, because you're not going to get away from this. This is always going to be an issue. So it's a quick fix to me anyway. Show respect to what came before first. And then you move on. You can do all of these things you want to do. But to come in every time in every single one of these properties and just flip the bird, you know, to what came before and disrespect the creators and look back and, you know, just be completely dismissive of the audience that grew up on this is ridiculous. You know, so all of the Kevin Smiths out there, you know, talking about grow the fuck up. That's the wrong way to go, you idiot. The absolute wrong way to go. And this is going to dog your productions. It's going to dog your reputation. You're going to lose credibility. But don't listen to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, don't listen to the audience. Go on and find out yourself. It's not like it didn't happen before. And it'll happen again. You know, but um, there it is, guys. I broke it down for you. You can let me know how you feel about that. Uh, in the comment section, I value that. Thank you guys for rocking with me. Thanks thanks to all of the uh, new subs out there. I really do appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much for coming through. And um, like, share, subscribe, guys. You can catch me on Twitter. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for listening, guys. This is The Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on. <laughs>